guys make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram what's going on my doll bills D money here and today I am doing a 24-hour challenge inside a porta potty all right here's the porta potty I already fixed everything up I have a tarp on top and uh, I'll explain that later had to censor out the name I don't want them like getting a free shot out but as you can see I have an extension cord and that's gonna come into play later hi bits I just gonna miss you is you gonna miss me for a whole 24 hours yeah you are all right everyone I'm about to go inside the porta potty and I'm gonna show you all what it looks like so here we go. Make sure I open this carefully. Dang, I'm gonna be living fancy. All right, everyone, I'm inside the porta potty now, and I'm about to turn on the lights. Oh, wow, that is bright. Ah. Oh. So, real quickly, let me set the timer. So I set the time to 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. Starting now. Boom. I am stuck in this porta potty for 24 hours. This would not be possible if it wasn't for all of you. Now, you're probably wondering, it's winter. What am I doing in a porta potty outside? Well, uh, yes, it's where I do live, it gets very cold. But the light that I have shining on me right now, it's actually a heat lamp. Plus, I have a fuzzy Spider-Man blanket from Costco, and I have a army duffel bag that is filled with feathers, and it's going to keep me so warm, and I also packed three extra pairs of clothes. Alright, I just put a towel right in the crack of the door, so that way I can stop that from letting some cold air in. Also, the reason why I have a tarp is because these air vents, there's gonna be no air coming in but the thing is it's going to be so cold well guys one of my dogs is outside right here do you hear me puppy you guys hear the jingle of his uh, dog tags now something you all might be wondering is gross why would he choose a porta potty well it's actually legal instead of sneaking into like a bowling alley a mcdonald's a lowe's or a home depot all those places and i thought this is a good start plus uh i'll get more into how interesting it's going to be later but this is something that i thought of for since before thanksgiving and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do this. This is the perfect time. And also, today was the day that they cleaned it. I made sure this place was clean before I actually got in here. I should have brought a carpet in here. Dang it. All right, everyone. I've been sitting in here for a while now, probably about an hour. And you probably can't see that, but my breath, it's, it's there. But I think it's time to do a house tour. So we have the heat lamp up there. Ugh, tight squeeze. I got backpack full of entertainment. I got a cooler. But don't worry, it's there's the only cool thing in there is water because, I mean, it's winter. And then I have some outlets, two free ones, because uh, this is staying on almost the whole time. Then uh, this is where I've been sitting and uh, I've been laying against my sleeping bag and blanket. This is where I have my extra clothes. Uh, I got some nice tissues here. Uh, oh geez, it feels like one ply. Ew. For right now, I'm not gonna go into what else I got because that's a surprise for later. But, oh hey, I also got a mirror. Hey. But for right now, I'm gonna get into one of the most interesting things about this challenge all right so like i said earlier this is winter so and right now i have up on google the temperature in degrees it is currently 38 degrees right now 
And tonight, the coldest it's going to get is 24 degrees. So that's why I have like so much blankets and stuff to try and keep me warm. It's because it's going to be 24. So hopefully it doesn't go down anymore, but it's, it's perfect. It adds to the challenge. Also, because it is starting to get colder, I'm going to try and see if I can put on my layers right now, just so that way I don't get, like, too cold. Plus, this heat lamp, um, I had to be, like, close to it in order to feel the heat. Like, I feel the heat now, and it's probably bad for lighting, so for now, it's going up. I think every time I turn the camera on, I'll move that up, but for the rest of the time, I'll have it down on me. But anyways, I need a change. All right, everyone. Um, it's so tough to find a good camera angle in here because I want to be able to show like some of the stuff I got, but it's all below me, and I don't really have anything to put the camera up high on. But uh, I do have like some winter stuff on now. I also don't want the light getting in the way. But I got gloves. Uh, I actually borrowed some ear muffs, so that way. Uh, my ears stay cold, and I also didn't bring a beanie, but I do have two hoods on, two uh, jackets, uh, three shirts, two PJ bottoms, and jeans, and three pairs of socks. One shoe. One pair of shoes, though. I can't double shoes. But I am ready. Like, I'm already starting to feel a lot warmer. Earlier, my toes were getting cold, and that's when I knew, alright, it's time to uh, triple layer. So... I'm really enjoying this so far and one thing that's really weird about this to me is that because of the tarp I cannot tell what time of day it is I cannot tell if it is dark out or day out I assume it's dark out and also normally I could tell from up here too but the tarp I'm gonna be doing some fun stuff later tonight so stay tuned all right everyone so I changed the lighting uh, positioning just so that way I can be closer to light and get more heat and right now I'm gonna show you what I have in my ice chest so here's what I got in here. all right I can't open it all the way but back there I got some water I have some chips uh, in that is going to be a late night snack I got some granola bars but for right now I think I'm gonna go with the water one thing I wanted to make sure about this challenge is that I wanted to be able to have more items than I needed just so that way like I wouldn't run out of something like food for instance like I packed enough food that I think I would need and then I packed a little more and I packed a lot of water and just so that way I would know and have the comfort of I'm gonna be good I don't need to really care about rations that much that's just me though if you end up doing this it's fine to uh, go about it your own way and also the best thing about this location I really don't like this cord is that because it's in a porta potty I don't have to like think of alright after I drink a water bottle am I gonna have to like pee in this no um I can pee either underneath where I'm sitting or right here because it's it's a bathroom like it's the perfect setting really plus I can't have company in here obviously there's like not enough seating room there's uh, some foot room but eh. alright everyone so it is 714 I have 21 hours and 34 minutes left and it is now 27 degrees, but uh, I'm getting pretty hungry right now, so I'm about to have dinner. Alright, so earlier today, uh, right before I hopped in here, I microwaved some uh, chicken marinara sandwiches, and I tinfoiled them, hoping that they're still hot. Um, they're warm. Okay, so that's good. It's not bad. Uh, it's going to be really good. 10 out of 10, flavor's still there, and it's warm. Alright everyone, so it is 10.15 p.m. And it is 32 degrees outside. And one of the things I was talking about briefly earlier was that uh, I brought my little mini DVD player in here. And 
Right now I have Spider-Man Homecoming inside of it. And I'm going to be watching this. Spider-Man talking about eating a churro and while he's eating a sandwich reminds me that I actually have a little treat for myself as well. Boom, here we go. I have my own little hot chocolate station. I got this thing full of hot chocolate with milk. I got marshmallows and whipped cream and an emoji mug. So, I'm going to make myself a coffee. I mean, a cup of cocoa, sorry. It's already starting to smell like hot chocolate. I just have to press it down on this thing. But I'm having a tough time. Mmm. It's still warm. I love it. Alright, everyone. So, it is past... 12 o'clock, I still have 16 hours left, and uh, right now, I think I'm just going to try and go to sleep, and if anything interesting happens, uh, I'll let you know. So after a while of wrestling around, I was finally able to find a comfy spot to make my bed. So my legs are on my ice chest, and my head's underneath the heat lamp, so that way uh, my head will stay warm and yeah I get up to show you my bed but it was pretty tough to get like this I am in a pretty confined space you guys hear knocking all right everyone so I just woke up uh, I didn't get it didn't feel like I got that much sleep it's very foggy this morning the lens is starting to fog up now so uh, what I really wanted to show you was uh, I moved the heat lamp closer to me, but also, you could definitely tell it's day out. And also, there is frost all along the metal rim of the door. Hey everyone. So it is currently 1121. I have five and a half hours left. And one thing I forgot to mention earlier was... Uh, Last night, when I thought I heard knocking or some weird noise outside the door, uh, it I did figure out what it was. It wasn't an animal. It wasn't a person. Uh, it turns out that my feet were pressing against the wall, and that was causing the uh, door to shake a little bit. And also, because I just woke up, I need some breakfast. So, let's see what I got. I didn't really pack accordingly for each meal I just threw stuff together that I thought ah, this will be good alright so I gathered the closest thing to an actual breakfast that I could uh, I have what's left of the hot chocolate except now it cooled overnight so now it is chocolate milk I have a granola bar and a banana I do have another banana but this is just what I'm going to start out with for now. I'm going to eat and then I am going to go live on Instagram in about a half hour. So, uh, yeah. Guys, something terrible just happened. I just bit into the banana and it is like, it's so cold that it like, my teeth felt really bad, uh, getting in it, digging into it and, uh, ugh. I hate that feeling. Alright everyone, so I have about maybe four or five hours left in this porta potty and right now I am live on Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, go follow me there. Here's all the people on here now. Ooh, watching you film. What's the video? It's the 24 hour challenge in the uh, porta potty. So I'm gonna be uh, live streaming twice on here ayo uh... two times today one now uh... it's about noon and then i'll do one later but uh... i'm definitely i want to do more videos like this in the future where oh here uh... but yeah and when i do more videos like this in the future uh... i will be doing like 
going live on Instagram like this. And then I'll be uh, giving you all the behind the scenes on here while I'm filming on here. So that way, it's the best of both worlds. I get to use uh, my social media and my uh, main social media at the same time. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's how much time I have left. Alright, it is currently 49 degrees outside. It's definitely gone up since this morning. All the frost in here is gone. And uh, I think it's time for lunch. And uh, in here I have some clam chowder. I'm hoping that it stayed warm over the night because clearly the hot chocolate wasn't warm this morning. But chocolate milk still pretty good. I am currently at 1 hour and 46 minutes left. I'm getting there and... I feel pretty good about this challenge. Oh, rations are low. I've ran out of water. I'm pretty sure I have frostbite on my toes. I have two hours left. Don't send help. I have a half hour left, or about a half hour left, but uh, every single time I move the light, it always looks different. Like now it looks more nighttime-ish. Okay, not on camera that well, but that's probably because of the light. But everything is much darker because of the uh, tarp and the light. It's, it's under right here. Just so that way I could get some more heat when it's up there. It's morning. When I move it down here, it's night. It is a little weird. This is what I gotta do for heat. Move the lamp so close to me that I could just feel the warmth. My face absorbs it all for the rest of my body. I am really ready to get out of this place. I'm not packed up I'm not gonna pack up until like I'm done with the challenge but I am ready to get out of this thing like I am sick and tired of it I want to be by an actual fireplace not a heat lamp or in a sleeping bag and a blanket and three layers of clothes I want out oh my gosh everyone look at this look at this this is what's left of the timer eight seven six five Four, three, two, one. I did it. I am so happy. 24 hours in this. 24. I can finally go outside. Oh, it's darker outside than I thought it'd be. This is what I was in. Wow. 24 hours. Oh, my sensor thing's still up. Dang. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to smash that like button. After all, I did spend 24 hours in a porta potty. I think that deserves some recognition. I mean, I did it for you guys. I would have not done that if it wasn't for you. So, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and have a great day. Bye!